Hi everyone and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm super excited to join an Alti New video hop. Hop along with us to get inspired and make sure to leave comments here on YouTube. Alti New is going to pick 8 winners and each of them is going to get $25 in a gift certificate. So for today I'm going to play with the cartoon tulips and I'm going to show you a really fun technique that you can use with any flower stamp set that you have to make it puffy and three-dimensional. So I'm going to start by stamping the outline of the tulips and I need to have the flowers a second time. So I'm going to bring in another piece of paper and stamp the tulips there as well. I don't care on this piece of paper about the stems or the leaves. All I need to make sure is that I have three extra flowers. Once you stamp your flowers, then you can color them in with your favorite medium. However, I'm going with the layering stamps here. So just because it is quick and really effective. I am going to use a color combination which is one of my favorites from the ink sets by Altenew. These are the cherry blossoms and I'm starting with the first layer and uh, the ink I used is pink diamond. Now I do have a second uh, paper where I need to color in the tulip so I'm going to do every step twice. This is the second layer and I'm using Pink Alicious ink. These are only three layers for the tulips and they are really easy to align. For the third and last layer I'm using Ruby Light which is going to add a touch of uh, dark shade at the bottom. And then I need three shades of green for the stems and leaves. For that I'm using the green ones from the Spring Bouquet ink set. So the first color is limeade, then I am moving on to lime and finally the darker shade of green is fresh leaf. In any case I'm going to link everything I'm using down below in the description area just like always. Now remember I was doing everything twice so I have two sets of tulips. I'm using the matching dye to cut it out. And then once I have the second tulips ready, I'm going to separate them for the stems. I don't need those after all. And I'm going to cut out with my scissors the petals that are at the front. I'm just showing you which ones I'm going for. This way I will be able to pop them on top of the other tulips and make them dimensional. It's a fun technique that I do a lot when I want to add more dimension on an otherwise flat image and uh, it really makes a difference at the finished card. It takes it into a next level and you can do this technique with pretty much any flower design that you have at your stash. And since this video is part of a video hop where we are about 10 or 11 people participating, I'm keeping this video quite small and sweet. To have enough time to hop along with us, watch all the videos and leave comments in every stop for a chance to win prizes. So here I have all the petals, the extra petals that I need for uh, fluffing up my flowers and now I'm going to do some scalping. For that I'm using a kit that I have with those uh, ball tools but if you don't have such a thing you can always work on a mouse pad with the back of a marker. The idea is to give some dimension on the petals working at the back and then you can add a couple of foam tapes there to keep them dimensional and then stick them in place. By using the ball tool you actually break the fibers of the paper and uh, the petals really turn dimensional. You can find this type of uh, scalping sets in the market from different companies and I'm going to link down below a couple of these sets if you want to add them in your stash. So here is a lovely focal point with those puffy tulips and by having that curve on the petals it hides the foam tape underneath. Now since I have those tools out I'm going to puff up the leaves as well so that when I stick them down they are going to have pretty much the same effect as the flowers. Time to put together my card. For that I have two panels, one white with that lov those lovely dots all around and another one which is off-white. I did use these dies to cut them out. These are becoming my favorite dies for creating panels and backgrounds for a card and I keep on using them again and again. Now I am now going to stick down my focal point and for that I'm going with glue. So this is going to lay directly flat on top of my panel. However, I do have dimension there since I have puffy flowers and puffy leaves. 
plus the off-white panel is stuck on top of the white panel with foam tape at the back, so I do have enough dimension, which is something that I absolutely love on my cards. Hopefully you can see the dimension, it's absolutely beautiful in real life. Now for the sentiment I went with the word thanks, this comes from the floral thanks stamp set and uh, there is a big stamp that uh, stamps the word thanks but there is also an available tie that cuts out the outline. So I'm going to add some foam tape at the back and stick it there and I'm going to finish off the card by adding some gems just because I love some sparkle on any card. So that was the card for today, I hope that you had fun and that you got inspired. Check down in the description area for the next stop on the video hop. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all next time.